One second, y'all. One second. To forbidden scripture. I'm your host, Nine Spiral. All right, we're about to go in. We're about to go in, y'all. All right, we're going to show the people uh, how wondrous it is, all right, uh, to be able to navigate through scripture precept and interpret and get it because everybody can't get it all right so this video is not for everybody my channel is not for everybody but it's all about yes you're all Right, it's all about you. Everything is about you. All right, they constantly form a confederacy, a confederation, to gang up on one nation, huh? One nation. And uh, so I'm going to call this one uh, Three Groups, One Salvation. All right. Uh, allow me to illustrate uh, for you of the significance of these critical analysis, all right? As we maneuver through scripture, you got to know how to maneuver. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful thing to know how to maneuver through scripture and come up with something like this. Three groups, one salvation. Those are your only options, all right? That's if you have chosen life, all right? Because this ain't for everybody, even though a lot of people think that they are part of it. But they're not. And don't shoot the messenger, all right? We just drop it off to you, that's all. See if you want it, there you go. I am not to um, you know, uh, antagonize and, and I'm not to shove this down your throat. I'm not to yell at you. I'm not to hold you by the hand and guide you through it. All right? This is your life. <laughs> All right, in the palm of your hands. And so, since we know that this ain't for everybody and a lot of people just simply I ain't gonna make it right. Oh, you think you existing now? If you have settled for this shit bullshit as paradigm,
you're in for a rude awakening. Because besides this right here, what do you have? An election? Hmm. I bet you Daniel never would vote. I bet you Daniel uh, would never choose a, a, a party or a group. Daniel wouldn't bow down to idols, right? And got thrown in the lion's den, right? Last time I went to go vote, I got arrested. And I had a warrant for my arrest. On my way to go vote for when uh, Obama was in office, right? I look back on it in hindsight and say, Allah, All right. It's all about perception. What do you perceive? What do you perceive to be life? What do you perceive to be death? What matters the most to you? Existing and living comfortably here? Or salvation? Because you are old. Salvation and it's coming. Yes, you're all. Well, nine, you say, do we have a number? All right, watch me maneuver through this thing, y'all. Watch this. Watch me work. This is just off the top of the head, all right? Freestyling. So, since we know that a lot of y'all ain't gonna make it, and I'm speaking uh, specifically to Yeshurah. And that's not including the Gentiles, all right? We keep telling y'all the Most High is coming back for mass murder. On a dark and cloudy day, I will deliver my people from all the places that they were scattered. On a dark and cloudy day, the day of the Most High. The day of thick darkness, huh? The prophet Isaiah and deep darkness fell upon the earth, huh? It's coming. And so roughly how many? All right, read. And Moses called all Israel and said unto them, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and judgments which I speak in your ears this day, that ye may learn them and keep and do them. All right, read now. The Lord our God made a covenant with us in Horeb. Uh The Lord made not this covenant with our fathers, but with us, even us who are all of us here alive this day. This day, now read. The Lord talked with you face to face in the mount out of the midst of the fire. Face to face. I stood between the Lord and you at that time to show you the word of the Lord, for ye were afraid by reason of the fire and went not up into the mount. All right, read. Saying, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Bondages. Thou shalt have none other gods before me. Read. Thou shalt not make thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters beneath the earth. Read. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, uh-huh. visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, Read. and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thousands. Huh? <laughs> we keep telling y'all this script was already written, all right?
your return was already implemented, programmed to you, all right, from the beginning. The Most High has chosen a portion of Jacob's descendants, all right? Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 10, and showing mercy unto thousands, not tens of thousands, all right, but thousands of them that love me and keep your mother and father above commandments, huh? Because Big Mama said they are mine too. You broke my covenant also. My children, hmm? thousands, and you can't find tens of thousands, right, in the Old Testament. Why can't the Most High mean what He say, man? Why can't the Most High mean what he say, man? Watch this. Watch me work. All right, you see that? What is the Most High doing here, y'all? Y'all see that, don't you? All right, the Most High is doing math, all right? He gave you the the uh, the thousands place, right? The thousands places value, all right, thousands, not tens of thousands, but thousands, and so the Most High is what dropping hints. But also, the Most High is giving you the math. Start at verse 7. Verse 7. Watch this. We're not read. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, and against the man that is my fellow, uh -huh. saith the Lord of hosts. Read. Smite the shepherd. And the sheep shall be scattered, uh -huh. and I will turn mine hand upon the little ones. Read on. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, uh -huh. but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, Read and on. will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people. And they shall say, the Lord is my God. Now power. All right. You see that? The most high is my power. All right. Let's marinate for a minute. See that? 13 9. This. Right here is one of those groups, all right, within the body of Yasharal, the descendants of the 12 tribes of Yasharal, all right? This group right here uh, will be brought uh, through the fire, all right? But your fraction is over here. Some versions it says two thirds, two thirds in it shall be cut off and die. And a lot of y'all don't even know it yet. So draw a circle, right? Two thirds shall be cut off and die. But the one third, all right, 
shall be left there at the end. All right, and so they're going through the fire. They will be refined as silver, all right, and they will be tried as gold. All right, you can get that in Second Ezra also. The prophet Ezra uh, touches on this briefly. Being tested as gold is tested, all right? In fact, the most I said at that time, the quality of mine elect will be tested, all right? So this is one group. All right, y'all, so, uh, we're in the book of Second Ezra, all right? Now, I couldn't, for one, I couldn't find one with the text on the screen because I don't too much care for the versions, all right? And so when you're dealing with Apocrypha, you want to pay attention to the versions, I've heard, you know, some of them even tried to sneak JC in. I don't know. Uh, I'm reading from the uh, the uh, RSV, Revised Standard Version, or you can uh, rock with the uh, the uh, uh, NRSV, New Revised Standard. All right, and so. Uh, you're not gonna get uh, any mention of of a JC or a shower shy, right? Actually, it doesn't uh, even uh, mention a name uh, here in Second Ezra. All right, leaving that blank to be filled. Now, <laughs> me and mine's, all right, uh, we fill in the blank with what the most I say and what the prophecies say. That's why I deal with the prophets, because the prophets paint the picture. Why? Because the most high gave them the visions, the pieces, all right? Every prof, every prophet, shall I say, prophet, every prophet got puzzle pieces of this same great day of the Most High, right? And how the descendants of the true biblical children of Yeshara, Is going to receive their salvation and it's going to happen in front of the whole world and so on that on that day it's gonna be some uh, as well as mass murder it's gonna be a lot of uh, witnessing all right, your parents above love to show out. They love to show up and show out in front of all the nations. They don't change. They did it back back then. They don't change. And so here we have uh, all three groups, right? Now we know that this uh this elect, if you will, uh they will be uh, uh tried through the fire, right? What are we talking? And tested as gold is tested. What are we talking? Transformation, huh? You see, you got to get that from uh, Baruch. Baruch got the drop. All right. All the prophets got the drop. 
because the Most High said that he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets, right? And the Most High specifically said that he gave this latter generation, all right, us, right, this generation here, the prophets. Why? Well, for one, because your ancestors did not respect them. Some of them were even murdered, huh? Damn the outlaw. And so the Most High said, uh, their blood I will require from your ancestors. You see, everybody want to be about the ancestors. He's telling you to be better than your ancestors. And put down your damn idols. All right? Don't turn to the left or to the right like they did. It's not even your fault, man. It's not. The beautiful thing about that is that they know it. Your power above knows this. That's why I always like to say, Israel, it is important that you understand and know that your power kills nations. Nations. Just for you. All right, pay attention, man, as we take this journey uh, into second uh, Ezra's. All right. And so here's the plot right here. Here's the plot. I give you the plot. After chastising your ancestors, all right, and breaking it down to Ezra's, uh, how disrespectful they were and how they uh, acted in uh, such wicked ways, all right. Uh, worshiping these fallen deities. And it burned him huh? with anger. But, 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 we're just getting into the part with the Most High is recognizing you, descendants of the true biblical Israelites. Huh? You engines, you? Y'all ready? Read. I will give your houses to a people that will come, huh? who without having heard me will believe. Those to whom I have shown no signs will do what I have commanded. Huh? They have seen no prophets, yet will recall their former state. They have seen no prophets, but they will recall their former state. Huh? And in the land of your captivity, you shall remember yourselves. Huh? Remember that? Free. I call to witness the gratitude of the people that is to come, whose children... The people to come. You hear? <laughs> <laughs> whose children did what children rejoice with gladness though they do not see me with bodily eyes you see your ancestors saw the most high face to face 
in Mount Sinai. But you see, we haven't seen the most high with bodily eyes, all right? But yet, yet, and still, yet, and still, huh? Yet with the Spirit they will believe the things I have said. And now, Father, look with pride and see the people coming from the east. To them I will give as leaders Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Hosea, and Amos, and Micah, and Joel, and Obadiah, and Jonah, and Nahum, and Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi, who is also called the Messenger of the Lord. See that? They love you so much. Yes, you're all. They, they gave you the prophets instead of your ancestors. And so you get the blessings that come with it. Ain't that love? Read. Lord. Chapter 2. Thus says the Lord, I brought this people out of bondage, and I gave them commandments through my servants, the prophets, but they would not listen to them, and made my counsels void. The mother who bore them says to them, Go, my children, because I am a widow and forsaken. I brought you up with gladness, but with mourning and sorrow I have lost you, because you have sinned before the Lord God and have done what is evil in my sight. But now what can I do for you, for I am a widow and forsaken? Go, my children, and ask for mercy from the Lord. I call upon you, Father, as a witness in addition to the mother of the children, because they would not keep my covenant, that you may bring confusion upon them and bring their mother to ruin. Hmm? So you broke Big Mama commandments too. Not just Big Papa. I've been telling y'all for a long time, Big Mama Gangster as hell. She don't play no fucking games. None. Come close. Come close. All right, let me get. I'll give you one. <laughs> this for my enemies, right? Big Mama said. She's going to laugh at your calamity and mock, <laughs> mock <laughs> when your terror comes upon you. <laughs> Read. So that they may have no offspring. Huh? Let them be scattered among the nations. Let their names be blotted out from the earth because they have despised my covenant. Woe to you, Assyria, who conceal the unrighteous in your midst, a wicked nation. Remember what I did to Sodom and Gomorrah, Re whose land lies in lumps of pitch and heaps of ashes. Uh -huh. So will I do to those who have not listened to me, says the Lord Almighty. Thus says the Lord to Ezra, tell my people that I will give them the kingdom of Jerusalem, See that? which I was going to give to Israel. I told you. You see, a lot of people say, cry out, man, cry out, uh, so we can end this captivity, right? Do you even know how to cry out properly? You see, your parents above says, pray for your sins and also the sins of your ancestors because they are the ones that got you in this mess. Free. Moreover, I will take back to myself their glory huh? and will give to these others the everlasting habitations which I had prepared for Israel. You know? The tree of life shall give them fragrant perfume and they shall neither toil nor become weary. Ask and you will receive. 
pray that your days may be few, that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Watch. Call, O oh call heaven and earth to witness, for I have left out evil and created good, because I live, says the Lord. Mother, embrace your sons. Bring them up with gladness, as does the dove. Establish their feet. Because this is very important. This is very important. All my aquas out there. The Most High is talking to you. All right, because if you do this, strengthen their heart. Strengthen their mind. And bring them up for what gladness? Why? Because they just might save you. Read. Because I have chosen you, says the Lord. Huh? And I will raise up the dead from their places. And I will bring... See that? They go to, uh, that's the second group right there. All right. And so when the most high come back, right, he's going to set up shop top of Mount Zion, right? He's going to split some mountains in two and create a wedge. between that region, right? That Utah re region, right? Because that's where they're going to set up shop on top of Mount Zion. And create some valleys, all right? Because it's time to well, you'll see. Read on. I will bring them out from their tombs, because I recognize my name in them. Do not fear, mother of sons, for I have chosen you, says the Lord. I will send you help, my servants Isaiah and Jeremiah. According to their counsel, I have consecrated and prepared for you twelve trees loaded with various fruits, and the same number of springs flowing with milk and honey. And See that? And so. It's looking like we're going to be facing our opponents, right? Because whether you get tried through the fire and tested as gold, right? We're talking transformations. We're talking transformations. We're talking X-Man, Dragon Ball Z type shit. You got some. Some coming up out of the ground. All right, and I can precept that in Ezekiel. Why can't the Most High mean what he say, man? Well, you got another group of people like that. Who are these people, man? I, we've identified the ones that are coming up out of the ground. Uncle Ray Ray now got shot 
a few years back, yeah, they coming up out of the ground. Why? Well, the most I said it. They're merciful. And they understand that some of them didn't have a chance. And so they had to go early for their benefit. You see how that worked? What about the other people? Let's find out. Free. And 70 mighty mountains on which roses and lilies grow. Aye. By these I will fill your children with joy. Free. Guard the rights of the widow. Secure justice for the fatherless. What else? Give to the needy. What else? Defend the orphan. What Clothe else? the naked. What else? Care for the injured and the weak. Do what not else? ridicule a lame man. Protect the maimed and let the blind man have a vision of my splendor. Now those sound like orders, right? But the last one is very telling. Protect the main. Protect the main. Protect the main. And let the blind man have a vision of my splendor. Now, how do you suppose a regular person do that? So we ain't talking about no regular person, right? We're talking about the first group that has been tried through the fire and tested as gold is tested. We got the second group. Uh, these are your loved ones, all right? American Holocaust, huh? Ring a bell? We're talking millions. Millions. Millions died. That don't mean millions coming back. You see, everybody's faith, everybody's faith is in their own hands. And so the burden is put on you. Not nobody that can shed blood for you. Die on uh, a piece of wood for you. There is nothing anybody can do for you. But you, all right, now read. Protect the old and the young within your walls. When you find any who are dead, commit them to the grave and market, and I will give you the first place in my resurrection. That's, a, that's angelic type shit. You see that? If you see any that I did, commit them to the grave and mark it. For I will give you the first place in my resurrection. And so, some people are coming up out of the ground. That's your second group. All right, read. Pause and be quiet, my people, because your rest will come. Good nurse, nourish your sons and strengthen their feet. Why? Not one of the servants whom I have given you will perish, for I will require... That's why he says, Mother, strengthen. Strengthen your children. 
All right. Because some of them just might transform. To a light being, an angel. And not only that, but a deadly, a deadly angel. Huh? Free. Will require them from among your number. Do not be angry. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's get that again. Let's get that again, y'all. Not one of the servants whom I have given you will perish, for I will require them from among your number. Let's get that again. You see that? You see that? Not one. Not one. Now we're back on the first group. Not one. Not one of them would perish. Watch this, watch this. Free. Give to the needy, oh. defend the orphan, clothe the naked. Clothe the naked, defend the orphan, protect the man. Let the blind man have a vision of my splinter. Now, only an angel can do that. Cause can't no regular person give a blind man a piece of the most high splendor. And so these come off as what? Instructions. For who? That first group. The ones that have been what? Tried through the fire. There you go. And tested as gold is tested. Not one of them will perish because I will acquire them from among your number. You see that? That's why that number is incomplete. In Deuteronomy, that's why that number is incomplete. Most high just said thousands. I'm gonna give you thousands. That's all I'm gonna give you. I can't give you the exact number because that's for us to know and you to find out <laughs> and us to find out. I would like to know nine thousand ninety five. <laughs> I right, read on. Read. Care for the injured and the weak. Do not ridicule the lame man. Protect the maimed, and let the blind man have a vision of my splendor. I agree. Protect the old and the young within your walls. Mm. When you find any who are dead, commit them to the grave and mark it, and I will give you the first place in my resurrection. See that? Pause and be quiet, my people, because your rest will come. Rest will come. Read. Good nurse, nourish your sons and strengthen their feet. Not one of the servants whom I have given you will perish, for I will require them from among your number. number now read. Do not be anxious, for when the day of tribulation and anguish comes, others shall weep and be sorrowful, uh -huh. but you shall rejoice and have abundance. Read. The nations shall envy you, but they shall not be able to do anything against you, says the Lord. Oh, read. My hands will cover you, that your sons may not see Gehenna. Oh, man, my aquas, y'all are not listening. Y'all don't get it. My hands will cover you, right? My hands will cover you. The secret place, huh? Let's go. Free. Rejoice, O mother, with your sons, because I will deliver you, says the Lord. Remember Free. your sons that sleep, because I will bring them out of the hiding places of the earth, and will show mercy to them. For I am merciful, yes. says the Lord Almighty. See that? 
There goes the second group, huh? Now, I bet you didn't even peep the third group. The third group in there, I wasn't going to say nothing. I was going to see if y'all was going to catch on to it. Protect the main. Let the blind man have a vision of my splinter. Let's go back. 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 Free. Be quiet, my people, because your rest will come. All right. Good. Y'all. It's coming. All right. I just had to go back a little further, my bad. All right, that should do it. All right, read on. Do not ridicule a lame man. Protect the maimed and let the blind man have a vision of my skin. You see that? There go your third group. There go your third group. Now watch this. Read on. Trees loaded with various fruits and the same number of springs flowing with milk and honey and 70 mighty mountains on which roses and lilies grow. By these I will fill your children with joy. Come on. Guard the rights of the widow. Secure justice. Guard the rights of the widow. You see that? That'll be your third group. And so, that third group is going to have help. From the first group, doing what? Escaping into the wilderness. You see that? These are orders. Watch this. Read. Your justice for the fatherless. Give to the needy. Huh? Defend the orphan. Huh? Clothe the naked. Huh? Care for the injured and the weak. Do not ridicule a lame man. Protect the maimed, and let the blind man have a vision of my splendor. Free. Protect the old and the young within your walls. Free. When you find any who are dead, commit them to the grave and mark it, and I will give you the first place in my resurrection. All right, read. Pause and be quiet, my people, because your rest will come. Rest will come. Read. Good nurse, nourish your sons and strengthen their feet. Come on. Not one of the servants whom I have given you will perish, Perplex. for I will require them from among your number. number. You see that? Reek. Do not be anxious, for when the day of tribulation and anguish comes, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but you shall rejoice and have abundance. Reek. The nations shall envy you, huh? but they shall not be able to do anything against you, says the Lord. Reek. My hands will cover you, that your sons may not see Gehenna. Oh, hell. Rejoice, O mother, with your sons, because I will deliver you, says the Lord. Yes. Remember your sons that sleep, because I will bring them out of the hiding places of the earth, Second and will show mercy to them. For I am merciful, mercy. says the Lord Almighty. Free. Embrace your children until I come, and proclaim mercy to them, huh? because my springs run over, and my grace will not fail. I, Ezra, received a command from the Lord on Mount Horeb to go to Israel. Come on. When I came to them, they rejected me and refused the Lord's commandment. Read on. Therefore I say to you, O nations, that hear and understand, await your shepherd. Uh -huh. He will give you everlasting rest, because he who will come at the end of the age is close at hand. Read on. Be ready for the rewards of the kingdom, because the eternal light will shine upon you forevermore. Uh -huh. Flee from the shadow of this age. Come Receive on. the joy of your... Again, I ask, outside of, script, outside of scripture, right? What you hanging your head on? The good life? Hmm? Is that all? You think it's going to last forever? Oh, you think the Old Testament is a joke, huh? Oh, you waiting on the Sky Daddy to save you? Oh, you fell for that one? All they did was 
through an mediator to disconnect you from your parents. We are family. Big mama, how about you see? We are family. Huh? That's all they did. Let's put a wedge between y'all. Free! ...of your glory, I publicly call on my Savior to witness. Their Savior, huh? Their Messiah, who is not named, but we know. It's King David. Hosea 3 and 5. If you are an Israelite, see how my music went off. Most of must want me to get this out. If you are Israelite and you're not doing what Hosea 3 and 5 says, right? And that is what? Seeking King David. Then you in trouble with the Most High. If you an Israelite, I don't give a damn if you JC is shower shot. Yahusha, Buddha, whoever, Ali Muhammad, if you're not seeking King David, then you don't stand a chance. So that, that means what? You're doing it for nothing. Though you are a part of his prophecy, and y'all know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to the campus, all right? And all the ones that refused uh, to put down their idols. You in trouble with the Most High. And so now that number seems a bit more reasonable, don't it? Thousands, thousands. Because I can show you tens of thousands that want to hold on to their sky daddies and their mediators. Huh? The Most High said, we turn our face from you, Israel. That's personal. You don't need no mediator. Didn't nobody go, hey, go tell them uh, we turning our face. No, they turn their face. That's personal. Free. Receive what the Lord has entrusted to you and be joyful, giving thanks to him who has called you to heavenly kingdoms. Huh? Rise and stand and see at the feast of the Lord of the number of those who have been sealed. Now the only the only ones that know that number is Abba and Amma. But that number has to be sealed. Watch this. Free. Those who have departed from the window of this age have received glorious garments from the Lord. Huh? Take again your full number, O Zion. Take again your full number, O Zion. You see that? How many you, how many do you think is out there? It can't be that many. 
take again your full number of Zion. So now you see why I'm breaking down these class groups. All right. It's three. All right. Some of y'all going to be like these up here. And we're talking off the rip. Soon as that frequency hit, bam. Second Baruch, the Most High says you will be even greater than the Melakim, huh? And equal to the stars. And you shall become greater than that of the Melakim. And equal to the stars. All right. Then you got some that's coming out of the ground, huh? Then you got some that's got to come out of the cities and go into the wilderness, right? Three groups. Israel, which one you want to be a part of? But just keep it in mind, this is only for the one third. Because majority of y'all gonna die and I'm just the messenger that's all Free. and conclude the list of your people who are clothed in white who have fulfilled the law of the Lord the number of your children whom you desired is full huh? beseech the Lord's power that your people who have been called from the beginning may be made holy Oh, you thought I was lying when I said chosen from the beginning. You see, if you're watching this video, chances are you was chosen from the beginning. Already instilled in you. Already pre-programmed. You just had to make a decision. to do the right thing. All right, y'all. Let's rock. Let's rock. Let's keep it going. All right, man. I'm going to end up doing a part two to this one. Uh, three groups, one salvation. And so we're in Psalms 91, um, which, which you imagine uh, group uh, is this dealing with right here and what we're doing y'all we're reading in context all right uh and putting precept upon precept all right precept upon precept line upon line and here a little and there a little and you see how we're painting this picture beautiful thing huh Well, if you said uh, group two, then you're correct. Nah, it's three, right? Three. All right. Group one is the elect. Uh, group two is the wilderness uh, people. All right. Because I'm going to tell you right now. from reading the apocalypse of Abraham, right? That second plague. That's what's going to wipe. Or that's what's going to drive. Not just you. Yes, Robert. That's what's going to drive everybody to the countryside. I believe it says a uh, conflagration of all the major cities. Conflagration. 
of all the major cities and pretty much uh, fire will force everybody out of the major cities into the uh, the countrysides and the rural parts and, and the wilderness and the woods, what have you, the forest. And, and so this is dealing with that group of Yesharal uh, that's going to acquire help. All right. And so you might just be helping one of your own family members, and they don't even know that yet. Now here it out here it is. You out here, you done transform into a whole angel. But you're tasked with the responsibility of helping this group escape into the wilderness. All right, read. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High come shall on. abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Almighty, come on. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, mm -hmm. my God. In him will I trust. Yeah, trust. Now read. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Right. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His right. truth shall be thy shield and buckler. All right. Now, again, my aqua. We just got in second answers, right? He's gonna cover you with his hands. Well, here we're talking feathers. All right. The tent peg, the hook, the security, all right? This is your security. This is your force field. He that dwelleth in the what? Secret place. Meaning what? You can't see this force. But it will be there. All right, read. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. All right, Nor read. for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Right, Nor read. for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Come on. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. We told you. Mass murder, and we're just talking that great day of the Most High. A thousand gonna fall at your side. When you look to the left, two thousand gone. And we're talking that fast. Boom. In the blink of an eye. Boom. Look, boom, to boom, thousand. Look to the right. Boom, boom. Ten thousand. All right. This you will witness the most high promise this to you. You will witness the reward of the wicked. <laughs> Free. But it shall not come nigh thee. See that? Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. I told you. Free. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. See that? For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Uh -huh. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. All right. So, if you're in the wilderness and the angels scoop you up, man, just pick your feet up, man, and fold your knees backwards, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you might hit old rock or something, all right? Now read. 
Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the huh? young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. All right. Now we know this is out of place. All right, all they did was change words, and, and uh, they did a lot of that. Even with the hornet, all right? The hornet meaning heat. But nevertheless, free. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore yeah. will I deliver him. All right. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and yep. show him my salvation. Yep. Yep. Now you see how we bouncing in between these prophets. All right. Now we're back on the what? The third group. Huh? Oh, you thought that was it? Most high just going to raise him. All right, now we're hearing this in Ezra's, right? But if you ask uh, an Israelite camp, somebody that deals with that doctrine, you know, Yeshua Shai, they would say that this whole chapter is spiritual, spiritual Israel. Now, what I'm saying is, why can't the most high mean what he say? Why can't the most high mean what he say? Especially when he talks about raising up your dead your dead ancestors to come join you on top of Mount Zion. And behind safe borders, preparing to watch the Most High's Messiah commit mass murder on all the nation's armies, whom the Most High will rouse up even though they're scared to death yet they dare to fight as it says in second answers huh and so as the most high hardened the hearts of pharaoh same concept We ain't got to do shit. That's another one we're going to sit back and watch. Another ass whipping. We're talking mass murder on a scale unimaginable. And we're going to have to bury the bodies <laughs> for seven years straight. That's also in Ezekiel. All right, read. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. All right, read on. And caused me to pass by them round about. Read. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. Very many. All right, read. they were very dry. Come on. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And these bones live. And I answered, O oh Lord God, thou knowest. Nope. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones. Behold. See that? I always got a kick out of that part. Because Ezekiel, oh, oh no, you know, not me. Can these bones live? And he always did the prophets like they asked him a question just to test what their humbleness. Can these bones live? Most I, I, I think so. See, I, I be on foot. I, I, 
I think I don't. I be I be under pressure and shit. I be cr- I be fumbling the ball. Bro. I, I, I think I think you. Yeah. No. Yeah. Ezekiel <laughs> said, "Oh no, you know, you know, most high." But all the camp, camp Israelites, like IUIC, Shikari, um, you know, GMS, they believe that this is spiritual. It's down to half. This chapter, the most high going in, but he don't mean really what he's saying. Why would he go in like that for damn near half a chapter? You see what I'm saying? Read. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you. And ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. See that? Most High is putting bones and sinews back together. But no, but see, but see, that's that's like a movie. But that's really, really what it is spiritual because. Uh, all of us joined camps and we went from one idol to the same damn idol. (laughs) Y'all niggas didn't even switch idols yet. God damn, that's a snare. (laughs) Man, you talk about a, a snare? Man, that's a trap. Y'all didn't need to switch idols. Man, I just thought about that. The pigmentation just changed. It did the same shit. Hey man, how come y'all feel like that ain't the same motherfucker? That's the same motherfucker. Come on. <laughs> that's the same motherfucking revelation. They talking about he's the lamb is sitting on the throne because he is uh he is God. You see what I'm saying? Y'all don't know y'all nobody wanna address that shit. Everybody just wanna debate on what Paul and JC was talking about. What a damn snare. The New Testament. All right. Read. So I prophesied as I was commanded. What is that? And as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone Uh to his bone. Come on. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above. Read. But there was no breath in them. No breath. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Mosai is telling Ezekiel to prophesy unto the wind. For what? Breath. Huh? <sighs> Just need that breath, huh? That Ruach, Amma, prophesy. And watch what Amma do. Wow. <gasps> fifth and sixth letter on the Paleo-Hebrew chart, huh? But that pictograph is a woman with her arms raised. Huh? <gasps> oh, but it really would, it really would categorically I mean, <laughs> I, man, I, come on, let me read. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, 
Uh-huh. Come from the four winds, O breath, Come on. and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, All right. and the breath came into them, and they yeah. lived, and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Uh-huh. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Uh-huh. Behold, they say, our bones are dried, and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, saith the Lord. Hmm? has spoken it and performed it. But these fools that glance straight at that and say, no, but uh, they taught us in camp uh, that it's spiritual Israel because uh, we, we, sometime after 2012, all the camps started popping up on YouTube and, and, and and, and, and every, everybody was waking up. And, and it's, it's indicative of of all the people uh, uh, that was, you see what I'm saying? So like, man, man, go ahead on, man. Stop telling the most high what he's saying. Right here, man. <laughs> then ye shall know. Then shall ye know, Shalaki, that I, the Most High, have what spoken it and performed it, saith the Most High. All right, y'all. Uh, we're going to stop right here in Ezekiel, but we're going to get this Ezekiel 14 uh, before we go. And I'm going to do a part two. And uh, yeah, it's going to be straight. It's going to be straight. All right, we're going to get off into the elect. All right, and, and the attributes and, you know. We're talking transformation. And you, you will become greater than that of the Melai King. All right, but pay attention as we read because we want to stay in context, right? Now here, uh, very interestingly enough, we have a, a intermingling of, let's say, uh, the first group and the second group. All right, now, the Most High is making a point here. And it has, it has to do with family members. All right. Now, notice... Uh, the treatment that Noah, Daniel, and Ao notice the treatment. All right, that uh, is given to these three. As opposed to uh, what's going to take place uh, in the latter days because the Most High is making a distinction. All right, just remember that. Keep that in mind. This, but this particular piece of scripture right here uh, is just is is it's a beautiful piece. 
and it answers a lot of questions. So just keep that in mind that the Most High is making a distinction between the treatment he renders to Noah, Daniel, and Job as opposed to the treatment that's to come in the latter days. Or well, not opposed to, but, you know, to uh, contrast the two, what have you. All right, y'all ready? Read. The word of the Lord came again to me, saying, Son of man, when the land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously, then will I stretch out mine hand upon it, and will break the staff of the bread thereof, and will send famine upon it, and will cut off man and beast from it. Mm -hmm. Though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, saith the Lord God. Seth, the Most High, all right? They will only be able to deliver themselves and not family members. Lord God, if I cause noisome beasts to pass through the land, uh -huh. and they spoil it so that it be desolate, that no man may pass through because of the beasts, though these three men were in it, as I live, saith the Lord God, they shall oh. deliver neither sons nor daughters. See that? They own neither sons nor daughters. Or brothers, or uncles, little sisters, cousins. Family members. Free. Only shall be delivered, but the land shall be desolate. Mm. Or if I bring a sword upon that land and say, Sword, go through the land so that I cut off man and beast from it. Uh -huh. Though these three men were in it, as I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters, but they only shall be delivered themselves. Free. Or if I send a pestilence into that land, and pour out my fury upon it in blood, to cut off from it man and beast, though Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, as I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter, they shall but deliver their own souls by their righteousness. All right. Here go again. They shall deliver neither son nor daughter. Family members. See that? Read. For thus saith the Lord God, How much more, when I send my four sore judgments upon Jerusalem, the sword and the famine and the noisome beast and the pestilence, Come on. To cut off from it man and beast. Come on. Yet, behold, therein shall be left a remnant that shall be brought forth, both sons and daughters. Uh -huh. Behold, they shall come forth unto you, and ye shall see their way and their doings. Read. And ye shall be comforted concerning the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem, even concerning all that I have brought upon it. And All right, read. And sinneth against me by trespassing grievously, then will I stretch out mine hand upon it, and will break the staff of the bread thereof, and will send famine upon it, and will cut off man and beast from it. Though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, saith the Lord God. Read. If I cause noisome beasts to pass through the land, uh -huh. and they spoil it, so that it be desolate, that no man may pass through because of the beasts. Come on. Though these three men were in it, as I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters. Mm -hmm. They only shall be delivered, but the land shall be desolate. 
Or if I bring a sword upon that land and say, Sword, go through the land so that I cut off man and beast from it. All right. Though these three men were in it, as I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters, but they only shall be delivered themselves. Three. Or if I send a pestilence into that land and pour out my fury upon it in blood to cut off from it man and beast, though Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, as I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter. They shall but deliver their own souls by their righteousness. Come on. For thus saith the Lord God, How much more when I send my four sore judgments upon Jerusalem? Aye. So what are the four severe judgment sword and the famine beast and pestilence all at the same time coming all at the same time all right and this is where revelations uh get they drop from about the four winds all right was four severe judgments coming at the same time. The Most High, your parents above, Abba, Amma, loves you so much, Yesharal, that the privilege that Noah, Daniel, and Job uh, were blessed with except for one thing they can't deliver neither son nor daughter Imagine not being able to save your son or daughter, your father or mother. Your favorite auntie on that day. But they loved you so much that they would, or this privilege would be allotted for the latter generations so that this first group will be able to do what? Verse 14, uh, uh, chapter 14, verse 22, yet behold, uh, therein shall be left a what? Remnant. Now I want y'all to look this word up and see how small it is. Thousands. But showing mercy to the thousands of those that love us, your father and mother above, and keep their commandments. A remnant that shall be brought forth both sons and daughters. Huh? <laughs> Allah. And so quite possibly you will be able to save your family members right you know the ones that thought you was oh he's going a little crazy what religion is he in oh they shun the church you know what i mean <laughs> all right because if you was chosen from the beginning, there ain't nothing you can do about that. I, I somehow found myself 
intertwined in this book. Some years ago. And not knowing what I was doing. How I was doing it. I just knew that it felt good. It felt right. It felt pleasing to my soul. And I couldn't get enough of it. So it it drew me in. All right. Unknowingly, right? I'm I'm reading uh, this book, right? Just all times of the day, because you knew, and a lot of y'all out there know what I'm talking about. You knew that it was something deep. Within you. They got you to where you are today. That's what happened to me. I had no clue. I didn't. uh, It wasn't like I was planning to do it. I just dove in. All right. And so, to be able to save sons and daughters, family members, man, what a beautiful blessing. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. And we're going to end it, y'all. Watch this. Rock with me. The sword and the famine and the noisome beast and the pestilence. Huh? To cut off from it man and beast. Man and beast, read. Yet, behold, therein shall be left a remnant that shall be brought forth. Both uh-huh. sons and daughters. Sons and daughters. Behold, they shall come forth unto you. Unto you. And ye shall see their way and their doings. And ye shall be comforted concerning the evil. All right. And they shall come forth unto who? You. All right. Point the finger at yourself. Who? Me? You. You Torah keeper, you. All right, come on, wait, wait. Righteousness. For thus saith the Lord God. Come on. How much more when I send my four sword judgments upon Jerusalem, the uh-huh. sword and the famine and the noisome beast and the pestilence? To cut off from it man and beast. Yet, behold, therein shall be left a remnant that shall be brought forth, both sons and daughters. Uh Behold, they shall come forth unto you, you. and ye shall see their way and their doings. Mm -hmm. And ye shall be comforted concerning the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem, even concerning all that I have brought upon it. And they Uh shall comfort you when ye see their ways and their doings. And ye shall know that I have not done without cause all that I have done in it, saith the Lord God. See that? And so, when you see these light bearers, the Most High said, you will be comforted. (laughs) Okay. Like, oh, shit. Like what what kind of back backwards flip was that? All right. The most high got y'all leaping over mountain tops and shit. We're gonna get into it, man, in the second part. Alright. We're gonna get into the attributes and running on wall and shit. I didn't hear you run on wall. Alright. The most high said, and they shall comfort you. Those escaping out of the cities into the wilderness. Because it's going to happen. Why? Because it happened with your ancestors. And they don't change. 
They don't change, man. And when you see their ways and their doings, and ye shall know that I have not done without that I have not done without cause all that I have done in it, Shalaki. Since the most high whore. And so pretty much the most high saying, you can be like, oh, all this destruction and, and mayhem and earthquakes. Okay, I see what I see. I see why you did it. Because when you see their ways and their doings, they shall comfort you. All right, nine spiral, um, three groups, one salvation, part one. Uh, get started on part two, uh, maybe like a day or two. Y'all give me a minute, man. I hope y'all liked it. Appreciate you for rocking out with me. If y'all like the support, man, look here, man. Hit me on it. I don't have a cash app. I do have a PayPal. Uh, if not, man, listen, just continue to support the channel. Uh, hit the like buttons. I heard that's supposed to uh, help, you know, with the videos. Uh, uh, comment, you know, it's dialogue. Because this is all that matters, all right? Outside of this, ain't nothing else. Nine spiral. Just remember. Just remember. All right. Just remember, damn, I should have left it where it was, huh? I'm seeing her trying to play it out. <laughs> that was a blooper. Both sons and daughters. Both sons and daughters, y'all. But just keep in mind, they shall come forth unto you all right and ye shall see their way and their doings now once you see them you go like oh hell yeah we got help ye shall be comforted Concerning the evil that I have brought upon Hurushalayim. Even concerning all that I have brought upon it. Huh? Time to reach the top of my soul, gone. 
Climbing up the reach and saw the setting star. So I could reach the top of the slope.